Salute, discipoli. In this lesson, we will put our newfound knowledge of imperfect and perfect tense verbs to use in translating a new story. A mystery is about to emerge. There is a man named Felix that everyone seems to know and love, but why? First, let's review imperfect and perfect tenses. So, ambulat would mean he, she, or it walks or is walking. Now take a look at what we've got. Ambulabat. Okay, when you have the bot ending, again, it's the singular, he, she, or it was walking. The plural, ambulabant. It would be they or some plural subject were walking. Again, ambulat would be he, she, or it walks, but ambulawit, okay? So we have a V up here, and then the ending is I-T, it. When you have that, it's he, she, or it, or some singular subject walked. The plural is Ambulawerunt. Again, we've got this V, which for the time being, the V is going to be a mark of the perfect tense. I've already told you in a previous lesson that there are perfect tenses that don't have it, but for the time being, all the ones we have will have it. And the ending is erunt. They walked. Okay, here's the story. Now, the format I'm going to show you is the sentence is going to be divided into multiple lines so that you can see what individual words mean, but then also what the whole sentence means. Multi Pompeiani in taberna vinum bi bebant. Many Pompeians in the shop were drinking wine. Now remember, again, verbs frequently come last in Latin. A good English translation of this is going to move the verb be bebant basically up to the front of the sentence. But make note, again, imperfect tense verb, the bant ending makes it were drinking. Clemens tabernam in Trawit, Clemens entered the shop. The V is the mark of the perfect. Now, I'm not going to say this for all of the verbs of this story. I'm just, again, early on, going to draw your attention to it. It's going to become second nature to you soon. Subito, Clemens, Felix, Clamawit. Suddenly, Clemens, Felix, now, Klamawit, again, klamat means shouts, but that's not what we have. Klamawit shouted. Now, in this case, it is probably good to move that verb up before the quote. So a more natural translation. Suddenly, Clemens shouted, Felix! Okay, so Clemens has entered the shop, and he apparently sees a person that he knows, and he shouted, Felix! Clemens Felicem Laite Salutawit. Clemens and Felicem is the accusative, so it's the object of the verb. Laite is an adverb, which means happily. What did he do? Salutawit. Greeted. Clemens happily greeted Felix. Felix erat libertus. Felix was a freedman. Now, you notice in this particular case, the order of the words in Latin is the same as the order in English. That is not common. It's mostly going to happen when you have like is or was. Clemens felicem ad willam invitavit. Clemens invited, perfect tense, Felix to the house. Now, let me point out a cultural matter, okay? Clemens does not have the right to just invite anyone he wants to the house. Okay, remember the story we read where Popeye was worried that um, Grumio was on his way and she needed to get Lucrio out of the house because presumably if Lucrio found out that she invites people to the house without him knowing, she could get in trouble. Clemens seems to know 
There is nothing to worry about here. Felix has a standing invitation to the house. Why? That's going to be the mystery. Clemens invited Felix to the house. Clemens et Felix Willam intraverunt. Okay, so again, the erunt ending is the plural of the perfect tense. Okay, we have a compound plural. Two singulars combined with the word et becomes a plural. Clemens and Felix entered the house. Clemens caecilium et metellam quaesivit. Clemens looked for Caecilius and Metella. Now, before I show you something very important grammatically, think about this. Caecilius is the master of the house. He's usually busy with some business, okay? Metella is his wife, and why does Clemens honestly believe, upon arriving in this house right now, that he has the right to go in, basically interrupt anything Caecilius and Metella are doing? Once again, Clemens knows that if Caecilius and Metalla find out that Felix is here, they are going to drop everything they're doing and want to go greet him. Who is this Felix guy? That's the mystery. Now, this is important. In we taught invites. Perfect tense. In we tawit. Okay, we've got the V. We've got the V. We've got the IT ending. Okay, so that looks normal. Look at this, though. Quiet. The perfect tense is quiet, looked for. Now we've got the V, okay, we've got the V, we've got the IT ending. What we don't have, people, look at this. The root of this verb has changed. It's not quire, it's quais, okay? And let me just tell you, this is the tip of the iceberg of the fact that many Latin perfect tenses are irregular. Okay, so for the rest of this chapter, they're going to at least all have a V, but don't get too accustomed to thinking only a V is perfect tense. Clemens looked for Caecilius and Metella. Caecilius in tablino scribebat. Caecilius in the study scribebat, imperfect tense, was writing. Caecilius was writing in the study. Metella in horto sedebat. Metella was sitting in the garden. Another imperfect tense verb, the bat ending. Imperfect, was sitting. Caecilius et Metella ad atrium festina verunt et felicem saluta verunt. Caecilius and Metella, what did they do? Hurried to the atrium. There's the erunt ending of the plural. And greeted Felix. Okay? This is a long sentence because basically we've got an and here which is joining two different verbs. Hurried and greeted. But again, Felix is here. They drop everything they're doing and they run to greet Felix. Who is this guy? Caecilius and Metella hurried to the atrium and greeted Felix. Postquam quintus atrium intrawit, Felix juvinem spectawit. After Quintus entered the atrium, Felix looked at the young man. Now, something I want to draw your attention to, Quintus is the subject of the verb intrawit, okay? So after Quintus did this, something else happened. But the key is that something else that happened was not done by Quintus, okay? Postquam Quintus atrium intrawit is a clause that tells us when the other action happened. It's possible for the subject of what we call the postquam clause to be the same subject of the rest of the sentence. That's possible, but it doesn't have to be. In this case now, Felix is the subject of spectawit. After Quintus entered the atrium, Felix looked at the young man. Libertus erat valde comotus. The freedman 
was very moved. Huh, what's going on? Felix looks at Quintus and he's very moved? Something's going on here. Paine lacrimabat, said ridebat. He was almost crying, but he was smiling. Tum clemens ad culinam festinawit. Then clemens hurried to the kitchen. Grumio in culina dormiebat. Grumio was sleeping in the kitchen. Clemens coquum excitawit et totam rem narawit. Clemens woke up the cook and told the whole story. Totam rem whole story. Now, the whole story is, guess what? I entered a taberna, and there's Felix. So, of course, I invited Felix to the house. Grumio would say, oh, of course you did. Anyway, the first thing I did when I got home is I found Caecilius Metella because I knew they'd want to know that Felix is here. And boy, did they ever. They rushed to the atrium. They greeted, they greeted Felix, too. Coquus, quod erat laetus canam optimam parawit. The cook because he was happy, prepared an excellent dinner. Why is he happy? Well, because Felix is here. What we don't yet understand is why is everybody so happy that Felix is here? That mystery will be solved for you soon when you read the next story entitled Felix et Fur, Felix and the Thief.